Today we are talking about the NBA All-Star Snubs of this year, 2024. So, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting much longer. Let's get into it. What's going on, you guys? My name is Dev, back here from d -Loan, And today, we're talking about NBA All-Star Snubs of 2024 this year. And hope we're not going to keep you long. So, hopefully you guys like, subscribe, and let's get into it. It's early. That's why my voice sounds like this. So, don't mind my voice. And I look tired. I am. Low-key. So, the first All-Star snub, low-key, Jamal Murray. He's been averaging amazing this year. Been doing good. First year, fully healthy. And he's been doing good. He's been a bucket this year. Trey Young had a rough start to the year. But now he's averaging like 27 with like 8 assists, something like that, which is kind of crazy. He's 6'1". But I feel like he should have made the All-Star team. I ain't going to cap. Scotty Barnes, the forward, I feel like he had a breakout year this season. Um, He's averaging like 20 points. No, I don't think a breakout year, but he's averaging like 20 with a couple rebounds, a couple assists, and I feel like he should have been an all-star. Um, Derek White, he's been amazing for the Celtics this year. Like, he's been like a 17-point-per-game scorer this year, which is kind of crazy because I wasn't expecting that last year. If you told me he was going to be averaging 17, I wouldn't believe you. Laurie Markadon, um... He's pretty good for Utah. He's in some trade rumors, though. And I want to see if he's going to get traded this offseason or this trade deadline. But he's been pretty good this season. He's been good. And Utah has their face of their organization with Laurie Markkinen. But he still could get traded. So, yeah. Which is kind of crazy. James Harden. New scenery at the Clippers. He's been... Going pretty crazy. He's been dropping crazy amount of points with Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, which is low-key kind of crazy. He's still James Harden. And he should have had a spot in the All-Star game. De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox is probably the biggest snub on this list, maybe. Last year had a breakout season. This year, continuing right where he left off. And I am a big believer in De'Aaron Fox. So, and then his teammate, DeMontis Sabonis. He's, he was on the Indiana Pacers. Now he's on the Kings. They, he was good on both teams. He's still good. And he's still a bucket. Low key. Then Alperin Shangoon. Um, Alperin Shangoon. He's averaging like 20-something points. I didn't even believe it. I don't know, 17 maybe. Somewhere around 17, 20. And he's been going crazy for the Rockets. He might be better than Jalen Green for the Rockets. Low-key. Last player on this list is Jared Allen. He's been one of the best players for the um, Cleveland Cavaliers this season. And I feel like he should be on that list. He's been going crazy for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And let me know if you guys know any more snubs this year so hopefully you guys like subscribe and peace